Hey there, welcome back to New Fat Dreamer, where I help you create the life of your dreams. In today's video, we are going to talk about social media addiction and how I reduce my screen time. November, Rob informed me that I was spending way too much time on my phone. I was sitting at our kitchen peninsula scrolling through Instagram while he finished making supper. The statement took me by surprise and I got a little defensive. He was wrong. I do not spend too much time on my phone. Or so I thought. Over the next few days, every time I picked up my phone, I heard his voice in my head telling me that I spend too much time on my phone. At first, I justified the time that I was spending on my phone. I have a new YouTube channel and I'm working hard to grow my social media presence in an effort to gain subscribers. As a side note, if you are not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. I promise to do a happy dance when I receive the notification. When I started to be honest with myself, I realized that the majority of the time that I spent on my phone was spent on social media. And that time on social media was not spent intentionally trying to grow this channel. No, instead I was mindlessly scrolling through my Instagram and Facebook feeds and watching Instagram stories and YouTube videos. That's when I realized he was right. I spend way too much time on my phone. Did you know that social media addiction is a real thing? According to addictioncenters.com, five to 10% of Americans meet the criteria for social media addiction. Although I did not meet the criteria, I still wanted to get my social media usage under control before it became a problem. Social media use has been linked to mental health issues and low self-esteem. Frequent use can make people feel increasingly unhappy and isolated. On social media, we predominantly see curated content as we scroll through our feeds. We see the highlight reel of our friends, families, and other accounts that we choose to follow. This causes us to compare our lives to what we see others post on social media. We see perfectly curated feeds and we believe those people are better than we are. We believe that just because a person looks put together in social media and has thousands of followers, then they are happier and more successful than we are. We judge others based on their follower count, then we compare our lives to theirs, never stopping to think about the parts of their lives that we do not see on social media. The parts they choose to leave out. The parts that make their lives a little less glamorous than what we believe. We compare the flawless, filtered, and edited photos of others to our real lives. With excessive use, this comparison can lead to mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. And let's not forget the effect that it has on our bank accounts. This past weekend, I started reading the book Worry-Free Money by Shannon Lee Simmons. The author referenced a study by the Columbia Business School that found that people with high social media usage have higher credit card debt than people who use social media less often. I decided to try social media detox. Giving up social media long term was not an option for me. I know many people that this has worked well for, but I am trying to grow my brand and social media is a part of my strategy to do so. Instead, I decided to go a day without social media. If I could prove to myself that I could easily go a day without social media, then maybe I could cut back on the amount of time that I spend on it every day. So one Saturday night, I logged out of all of my social media accounts and spent all day Sunday without social media. This experiment carried into Monday and I did not log back into my accounts until Tuesday afternoon. I actually liked being disconnected. I enjoyed my Sunday without social media so much that I no longer use social media on Sundays. I like to refer to it as social free Sundays. Turns out it is already a hashtag, so if you try it out, be sure to hashtag social free Sunday and tag me in the post. I know, it sounds a little counterintuitive. Sharing my story about how I gave up social media on Sundays and asking you to post about it on social media if you give it a try. But I still use social media and I love interacting with you outside of YouTube. On Saturday nights before I go to bed, I log out of all the social media accounts on my phone. This ensures that I stick to my commitment and prevents me from mindlessly scrolling if I accidentally open up Facebook or Instagram on my phone. The first few Sundays, I still tried to open up the apps. It was more of a force of habit than intentionally trying to use social media. A great way to break a bad habit is to make it harder. I learned this tip from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Logging out created an additional step and in a sense made it harder and less desirable for me to perform the habit of checking my social media accounts. Seeing the login screen prevented me from going any further. I am committed to my social free Sundays. Logging out of my accounts on Saturday nights prevents me from having any slip ups. Taking a break from social media on Sundays allows me to be more present in my own life. And to be honest, it feels a little freeing. There are no curated photos or captivating captions. And my thoughts and my feelings are not influenced by what others decided to share on social media. 
I am fully present and focused on the here and now. It even inspired me to create last week's video with a list of 20 things to do in the morning that feel more productive than scrolling social media. I will link it in the cards and in the show notes below in case you are looking for a new habit to replace your morning social media time. My social free Sundays made me more mindful of the amount of time that I spent on social media throughout the week but it did not prevent me from mindlessly scrolling through Instagram or Facebook during the time that I still spent on the apps. So a few weeks ago, I downloaded the app Action Dash to keep an eye on my social media usage. I have a Samsung Galaxy phone, so I can already view this information on those settings in my phone, but I wanted something that was more visual and took less steps to access. I have a set amount of time that I'm okay with spending on social media each day. If used intentionally, this time will allow me to take the necessary actions to help grow my social media accounts and this channel. Within the Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube apps, you should be able to set up a reminder that notifies you after a set amount of time spent on the app. I say should because although Instagram has this feature, my account unfortunately does not. I have reported it as a problem to Instagram, so hopefully it gets resolved. In the meantime, I have my YouTube and Facebook reminders set to 20 minutes. You may also be able to set up reminders within other social media apps, but I only mention Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube because they are the only social media apps that I use on my phone. I also started logging out of my social media accounts after each use, not just on Saturday nights. Before I log back in, I ask myself how I intend to spend that time. This has allowed me to be more intentional with the time that I spend on social media. I still interact with others, but I am more mindful of how my time is being spent. Since I do not have the Your Activity feature on Instagram yet, I usually set a timer to remind me when it is time to log off. By making these small adjustments, I ended up with more free time than I thought I had. Free time that I get to spend working on my goals and living my own life instead of vicariously living life through the people that I follow. Not only am I more present, but I found that my mood has also improved. If you are a frequent social media user, I encourage you to try a social media detox. You can try a day a week like I did or longer. I am committed to my social free Sundays and I invite you to join me for the next one. If this video encouraged you to try a social media detox or join me for a social free Sunday, please let me know in the comments below. That is all for today. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on future videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to do one thing today that will bring you closer to living your dream life. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.